going on guys welcome back to my channel little boy gym graphics in today's video i will be teaching you guys how to design the simple e flyer in corel draw if you're new consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and turn on the bell icon in order not to miss my future upload coming over here guys those are the stock images we'll be working with all right so i'm going to put the link of all this in the down description below and i have this mock-up which i'll be including on the stock uh, file so on this um, image as you can see i've taken out the background if you don't want to take a background in photoshop please go and check out my previous videos you will see videos on where to learn how to take a background in photoshop and in corel all right so you go and check it out and um without any further ado guys let's get straight to this video welcome to corel draw guys so the first thing we're going to do is change our size and to do that come over to your property bar and select units then under units locate inches then under your um page dimension put this to five by five then press enter and the next thing you're going to do is bring in your arm rectangle two and draw this way then also give it five by five and press enter then press letter p to fit it to the frame we have already and remove the black stroke all right now the next thing you're going to do is import our stock images so to do that right click on this empty space locate import Control i is the shortcut or come over to your file and locate import and once you do that then this box is going to come up or you just come over to this side and locate either on document download desktop wherever your file is saved and this is mine and what i'm going to do is basically copy all this or select all this and um, click on import now select and place them here just click and drag all right so click and drag so let me put this image here as usual separating it with the backgrounds we'll be using and working with so the next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to come over to this place and copy my text or before then let's apply our backgrounds and apply and place certain things in place first of all before bringing the text now the next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to bring in the background and right click on it power clip and power clip it inside this frame so actually as you can see we cannot touch it or do anything to this all right we can't do anything to it so the next thing if, if you want to edit this background all you need to do is right click select edit power clip all right then hold shift on your keyboard and drag this way first of all use your shape to to remove this all right now drag this this way and um, go to your effects select blur then gaussian blur all right so once you do that once you do that you can use my settings 32.3 pixels click ok now flip this to this point and um using your rule um your mirror on your property bar all right so you can scale this up to fit into the frame now once you do that this is what you are going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is i'm going to bring in another rectangle come over here draw and give it a black color all right so i'm going to give it a black color let's cut it and put it inside the frame now i'm going to give it a black color all right and um don't forget if you're designing something you're not printing you're using rgb but if you're printing this you will use cmyk so this is an e flyer is an online flyer so we're going to change this to rgb come over to your color viewer and select your color model to rgb and um, bring this here all right so i'm going to use my transparency tool and draw this way so after drawing this come over to your property bar and select your elliptical fountain transparency that is this one now scale this up this way you know just make sure not everything is you know so you can bring this here and change this to screen or oh, let's try overlay okay screen is cool and um what you're going to do is basically scale this up this way all right so this is what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is come over to this place and bring in my text 
Ctrl A to select and Ctrl P and C to copy. Then come over to your text and select your text to point it to this place and Ctrl V to paste. Now give it a white color so you can see it and reduce the font to be smaller. And the next thing I'm going to do is select this, right click on this and select power clip and place it in here. Right click and select this power clip, then place it over here. All right. So once you do that, scale this up this way and um, scale it up a bit, scale it up this way. And this is what you're going to have. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is come over to my bitmap. Let's bitmap the image to RGB. All right. Now, come over to your effect, adjust, and add some contrast to it this way. All right. Now, this is what you're going to have. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is click on finish. And leave that to that so what we're going to do now is cut this this text place it here all right the font we'll be using for this is called um this all right so i'm going to put the link of the font or the name of the font in the down description so you can check it out all right so this is the font we'll be using but this font it's kind of tactical and like you know that's how this font works. So let me change this to small letters. That's this total case. You see how it is? So I love this actually. So this is what I'll be using for this. And um, I'm going to scale this up this way for now. All right. Let me reduce this image. And um, let's place this here. And what we're going to do is... What we're going to do is... I'm going to change this to black. All right, then export. Use Control E to export your image to PNG. Now come over to your save as type, locate PNG. All right, locate where you want to save it. I'll save mine on desktop. Now, somebody asked the question the other day. He said he was trying to export, and all he could export was like he was trying to export just this and um, just a particular object and the whole entire. Um, job is exporting so if you encounter that problem all you need to do is just come over to this selected only just click on it it will only export the selected one all right so if you click on it then click on export as you can see it's just this that is exporting all right so click on ok and leave that to that so come over to your stock images i told you i put up a mock-up for you guys so i'll open this mock-up now and we're we'll making use of it in this video so open the mock-up and make sure you have Photoshop on your system. All right, so make sure you have Photoshop on your system. Now, this is the mockup we're working with. So I'm going to check this, and I'm going to check this up. I have taught you guys how to use this before. So if you don't have to use it, please check out my last upload. All right, so um, select this text to remove that. All right, come over to the background, uncheck the background. This FX, uncheck it. Let's check this background and see. Alright, uncheck this, uncheck this. Alright, come over to this black, uncheck it. Alright, so once you do that, come over to the text, place your um text here as you can see or edit. So double click on this thumbnail here. Once you double click on it, alright. Now what you need to do is just come over to this and remove this one you see this eye icon here just click on it to hide this one now come over to where your file is saved this is my desktop and this is where my file is saved now come over to it and bring this in here then place it over here then scale this up this way and check this over here and all you need to do is just close this and replace it by clicking on yes that's to replace the one we have over there and um, this is what you're going to have now the next thing I'm going to do is save this as PNG. Go to your file and click on save as. Alright, so once you do that, locate where you want to save it. Select PNG as usual and um, alright, so just click OK and um, go to your desktop where it's saved and bring this in here. Alright, this is having a color and I think it's having a color. So as you can see, it's having a white color here. So I think we didn't uncheck 
something we didn't remove something all right this all right so save it back as png all right save it back as png desktop yes replace and um click on ok now come over to the red and um, bring it into your design this is what you're going to have so let's use our shape tool and reduce this so it won't take much space all right it won't take much space all right so i'm going to reduce this and bring it here so delete the initial one we have and place this one here so once you do that basically just reduce this and place it here all right so once you do that now what we're going to do is bring in a shadow tool and apply a shadow to read so apply just a soft shadow all right so let's apply that shadow to read and um now you can leave that to that so the next thing i'm going to do is come over to this part and cut out this cut out this place it over here all right now bold it give it center alignment all right so change this one to um this color the gold color we have here now reduce it and place it here all right so this is what you're going to have this is what you're going to have so the next thing we're going to do is basically reduce this image and um, as you can see this is what we're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do guys is um bring in this this facebook logo icon we have here and um bring in my ellipse to draw a shape here i'm going to draw this shape so i'm going to bring in my rectangle tool again draw this way all right so let me give it just an outline so we can see all right so what i'm going to do is use my shape tool and change the corner round of this to let's give it round corner and what we're going to do now is click on this again and slant this this way once you do that all right bring in another one down here make sure it's aligned and you can basically reduce this way now right click and convert it to curve ctrl q is the shortcut now select this and bring it to forward this way now this is what you're going to do guys watch carefully bring this here scale it up this way all right so once you scale it up let's group this one and um select this select this that's you select the round round shape we have there select sh press shift on your keyboard and select this one now trim it this is what you're going to have as you can see now bring this down and um this is what you're going to have guys this is what you're going to have and um let's do this this way all right so once you do this now we're going to ungroup this and give this one white color all right so once we give it the white color we're going to place this one inside this or basically leave it there and just place it here bring it up this way now give this one a 10 percent gray give this one white remove the outline and place this one here all right guys this is it this is it this is it and um, let's scale this up let's scale this one up and place this here now i'm going to use my field color too and um, drag this way i'm going to give this one orange all right i'm going to give this one this gold or orange color all right So give this one um, red, but a dark red. All right. So guys, this is this is it. This is it. 
this is it all right guys so now I'll give this one um, blue all right so once you do that remove the outline and um, let's cut out this bring it here <coughs> then let's increase this this way now delete the Facebook we have the icon here already now break this apart using ctrl K then change this to uppercase bold it utilize bring it here all right uppercase shift f3 bold it utilize and reduce it bring it here and um, basically guys this is it this is what we're going to have now all you need to do is just group this all right group it and you can basically reduce this one a bit bring it closer to his brother and place it here now i'm going to leave this to this here all right now i'm going to call out this place it here be inspired yeah so let me give this piece give this space change to title case all right so we're going to just place this here let's just place this here and um i'm going to use my ellipse tool and draw cycle here now use your um field to draw this way give it your elliptical fountain and um you can basically give this play with the color if you want all right i'm going to just play with this all right so let me just kind of play with this put one here but make it smaller don't need to see that much all right and place another one here can change the color if you wish if you wish this one we can use blue blue all right we can use blue all right guys so this is what you're going to have i'm going to bring this one here and the next thing i'm going to do is basically bring this over here and draw that's my rectangle to give it white all right so what we're going to do now is bring this to the top a bit and um let's take this up a bit and uh, the next thing we're going to do is call out the date is every every sunday all right bring in the time and place it here so I'm going to use Vantly for this as a font. Then, all right, place it here. Give it black. Now break apart using Control K. Scale this up. Scale this this way. Then bring this this way. Then reduce this. All right, so I'm going to bring this down, increase it, and change the corner round to this. Give it the corner round, and I'm going to use my fill tool. And draw this way give it blue all right dark shade of blue come over here give it a shade of blue a lighter one this way and I'm gonna copy and paste this making it two and give it white all right so all you need to do is just reduce this all right then um, 
use your transparency tool and fade out this part this way so once you do that bring this to the top this way and um, bring your time so I'm gonna give this red all right so bring your time that's 6 p.m. West African time Bentley change the font to Bentley and um, place it here and this is what you're going to have guys so let me just adjust this one and this is what you're going to have guys so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring this that's the social media handle and um, place here then bring this one bring this bring this reduce them so first of all let's extract them so come over to this convert to bitmap then come over to your mode black and white all right so come over to your trace bitmap on your property bus select outline trace then light add all right so wait for it to load then this is extracted already and um, same applicable to this one Alright, same applicable to this, and um, this is what you're going to have. So let's bring this here and reduce it. Alright, so this one also. Okay, trace bitmap, line art, and outline trace. And wait for it to load, then click on OK. Now delete this, and you're left with this. Now this is what you're going to do, change this to white, change this, so let's bring it in here so we can see what we're doing, alright so I'm going to use this and um, trim on this. delete this one all right then give this delete this one give this white and um, delete this one so you're left with this and um, you can scale this down so what you're going to do with this one is on group delete this one now give this one just draw a line um, a cycle and give this one black for now reduce it place it here is behind so use shift page up to bring it forward and um, what we're going to do now is scale this up this way select both of them and trim it then delete this one and give this one white then reduce this reduce this one So we have Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, all right? So this is what we're going to have. So what we're going to do now is um, let's bring this one closer a bit. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is cut out this. Cut it out this way, place it here, then place this one here reduce it all right so i'm going to place this one i want to reduce this one also place it here and um let's just place this one down here so i i think i'll need to bring um i need to bring an icon which is a phone icon All right, I'm going to place this one here. Let's reduce this. Don't worry, guys. I'll put the link of all this in the down description below. So let's bitmap so we can extract just the way we did. All right, then come over to your trace bitmap, align trace line art, and um, allow this to load. Click OK. Now delete this one, delete the round one, and um, 
reduce this I think this is a WhatsApp number. So what we're bringing in is a WhatsApp icon. Yeah, I forgot. So it's a WhatsApp number. So we're going to just reduce this. All right. So go to your bitmap and um, go to your mode black and white. Then on your property bar, select trace bitmap, outline trace, line art, and wait for it to load. All right. So this is what we're going to have, guys. Basically. So what we're going to have so ungroup this then delete the black we have here then reduce it and place it here so let's reduce this and place it here so increase this a bit and bring this one down this way and this is what you are going to have guys it's what we're going to have and make sure it's aligned to this all right so the next thing i'm going to do is bring in this light flea place it over here right place it over here and use my transparency to convert your mage mode and use cream all right so bring this up and um, basically leave this to this over here and then uh, what you're going to do is bring this skyscraper and um, place it here and place it behind here all you need to do is use your transparency to feather this part all right then bitmap Fade out this part, bitmap, fade out this part, and bitmap, then fade out the last part, which is the edge, up edge here, bitmap, and change it to screen. Alright, so take it behind this way. So let's try color overlay. So we'll leave it on overlay instead of screen. So let's place this here. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, bring in this light flay here and take it in then scale this up then change this to screen and let's just take it up here a bit and uh, we we'll go with that and basically guys this is how we designed this simple e-flyer in color draw if you have any question guys please drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video